Hi, students. Um, had a good question in there this morning um, about uh, the methodology uh, that I am using in terms of CLT and uh, Beeman column. And I'm delighted the question was asked because I, I knew uh, this was going to come up. And uh, so I want to explain to you um, why I'm doing that now. So uh, I, I decided to, to use that particular uh, methodology um, in order to reduce the, uh, the weight of the CLT floors and roofs because they're not spanning um as as far maybe if i if i put in kind of beams across here i can span onto the beams as such all right so um and you'll you'll see that i decided to uh use a similar methodology over here um uh, for the atrium area and for the central zone two and for uh, zone three uh, over here the the single story Okay, now you guys might have decided to do this very differently and, um, and you need to follow whatever you have decided. So what I'm showing you here in these videos are techniques that can be repeated no matter whether you're using CLT or SIPS or beam and column or um, structural uh, internal walls or whatever else like that. Um, uh, it's it's the kind of techniques and the layout and the, the the logic in behind it. Now, if I just bring change that to wireframe and bring up the um, the PDF underneath. So uh, one other uh, definite methodology that I can see using here is because you've got so many internal walls here, you could make uh, uh, those walls. A lot of those walls uh, would be structural CLT uh, vertical walls, if you like. And they will go right to the underside of uh, of the floor. Now that does away with the need for maybe that column and that column and that column and that column and the associated beams uh, with that. Okay, because uh, you can literally drop your CLT floor panels directly onto uh, these ones here if they're coming up to the underside, and you can apply that to that one over there. So you can take out the internal columns there as well. So um, there are different techniques and you as a group will have decided uh, as to what way you want to build the building. So I keep on emphasizing this. I'm just doing it my particular, I'm using my particular methodology here, but it might not be yours. And um, but the techniques in terms of creating uh, the, um, uh, the beams, creating the, the structure, uh, you can use these techniques here as well um if 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 you're using sips right in the external walls here so sips are structurally insulated panels okay so they would uh, you get get rid of these columns and and beams here then because the the sips you can drop the clt floors or um the floor panels whatever you're deciding to use directly onto the sips as such and the thing is here is You've got so many internal walls all the way through here. So uh, that is most definitely a logical um, solution uh, as well. Um, and that would get rid of an awful lot of the kind of maybe the concrete that's used uh, for you know, the columns. Um, and so that obviously reduces your uh, carbon loading on the building as well. OK, so um, do you have to follow me? No, you don't. I prefer if you didn't. Uh, I know some of you might have gone down with this strategy that I'm doing, but others will do differently. So I want to see whatever you guys have decided to do. And the main things here is that uh, that uh, I am allowing you to adjust the grids. Okay, there's a lot of grids I'm going to delete here. And I'm going to reorganize my grids because they're just not useful for uh, my building purpose. You can see I've added in extra columns as well in, in locations, you can do that too. Um, and uh, in my sections here, uh, let's see if I can get into a section here. Okay, so you can see that um, I've got an external block wall here, that's it there, I've got insulation there. And um, uh, I'm sitting the uh, CLT directly onto 
uh, that external piece of wall there. Now, in terms of um, in terms of thermal bridging, uh, I need to take a closer look at that. And what I've not solved here is what happens in terms of thermal bridging in around the columns and whatever. So again, that's something that needs to be thought about. And again, that could be a job for one of the team members to do while somebody is working up the uh, uh, the, the Revit structural model as such as, as obvious um, detailing problems occur you know members of the team could be uh, sketching that out and trying to you know uh, figure out a solution in consultation with uh, with with the members as well all right now obviously I, i'm going to need something to uh, cover rainproof that there as well and i need to think about that uh, uh, too okay so um uh, and then you come up to the parapet up here uh, for that flat roof uh, both on the two story and the single story and that's that's a you know that's a nice problem that needs to be solved too so um uh, that to me is important uh, that you 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 go about this in the methodology that the team have chosen and stick with it okay don't you don't have to follow me religiously what i'm going to show you if you are using sips uh, or clt walls here it doesn't really matter what you're going to have to do is is cut out uh, window ropes because I would think you're going to be putting the windows and the doors into um, the tertiary wall, if you like, what you're going to hang uh, as a finish on the on the CLT or the SIPs. So I'm looking at this area here, and you can see I've got one, two, three windows. Uh, I've got a feature window here, and I've got a door there. And you can see that I've drawn in. Um, I've drawn in. Uh, reference planes okay that's that one there okay i've got a split screen here and that's just to help me find where the actual opes are so the reference planes are marking the opes uh i'm going to try and maybe just keep the head height and the uh, uh the sill height uh, in around the same you know uh, if you take a look at the uh the pdf for this area here okay so there's the feature window there's the door there's those three windows so they're not far off what that is there um, so i'm going to try and replicate that all right now how do we do this well by drawing in the reference planes it makes it a little bit easier so here's my door i'm going to pick my wall like so edit the profile and then we're going to um put the door in like so and again, it, I'm always finding these uh, hard to find. That's that column. What's that one? And let's just come back over here. To, I have a column there as well. So it's actually over here a little bit. Um, and that's the tricky bit is trying to find uh, the uh, <laughs> um, things. Anyway, let's, let's just try this here. Uh, that's that column. Then this is the door here, I think. So you're going to draw uh, sketch lines uh, in here. Just uh, it's to the right of that. So it's definitely, I think this is it here. Okay. So I think this is the door anyway. And then I need to split that one down there. And then just uh, trim those two. Like so, let's finish that. Okay, so there's my door rope. Yeah, got that right. Okay, there's my door up there. And uh, then what are we going to do? Then we're going to follow that process right the way across here. We're going to create that feature window in the same way that we created the ones over here as well. And then I'll carve out each of the windows uh, down there. And then I'll come over to this elevation, do those ones, that elevation, those ones, that elevation, do those ones. And then you got to go up to the first floor and do that. Now, once you've got all of those done, uh, to be honest, uh, you're more or less finished. Your um, you are more or less finished. Your structural model at that point, okay. And then what we will do is we will uh, introduce um, the structural model into the uh, architectural, and we start to build the architectural elements. 
Um, so one distinction that you'll, you'll find here, if you are going to use structural elements uh, like CLT walls to support the, the first floor and the roofs here, uh, then I think you need to put those in um, as, uh, as structural walls in the structural model. Okay, right, hope that helps. Uh, any questions, send them on via uh, Yammer and uh, we'll answer them from there.